Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another Harm Film tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to create a Among Us character in Blender. So let's get started. First of all, we're not going to delete the default cube for this one. And we're going into edit mode. First of all, we want to create uh, two faces for the legs. And we're going to extrude them out. Next step, we're going to um, create the... Um, the head part of the model by extruding the uh, top three faces and uh, also what we want to do we want to give it a more uh, rounded cylinder shape because that's the shape what we're going for all right and also we're going to make the feet more square uh, more give it a more square shape by uh, scaling in the uh, inner edges and yeah just tweaking it a little bit adding a few edge loops because next step what we're going to do is we want to uh, add a um, subdivision surface modifier and that's all about adding edge loops and stuff because we uh, that way we can um, you know that way we have control over the uh, the curve curve curves of the model all right looking good so far just uh, tweaking a little bit by uh, scaling in uh, a few edges. Yeah, that looks uh, very nice. Oh, and also scaling the, uh, the head of the model. All right, looks good uh, so far. Also apply smooth shading. Next step, we're going to create the goggles or helmet part of the model i don't know what it actually is but yeah i'll call it goggles and um, we're going to duplicate the uh, the shape and um, scale it up a little bit because this is going to be the backpack and again we're going to apply subdivision service modifiers and also adding in an edge loop like i said the edge loops are for the uh, yeah, the uh, curves that we want, and uh, also repeat the same steps for the backpack. But then for the backpack, we're going to add a few more edge loops. All right, so I'm just um, positioning it, position it, positioning in la la, changing the position a little bit to. Uh, to the uh, position uh, that I want. Now we're going to uh, add a simple D4 modifier to the backpack. This uh, this way I want to uh, bend it a little bit around the character. And uh, I've also added in a empty because with the empty we can control the amount of curvature of the backpack. So yeah, as you can see, I'm also rotating the empty a little. So um, yeah, I'm rotating the empty by 90 degrees to uh, get the results that I want. Looks very good. And after uh, I'm done, I'm going to apply the uh, modifier and I'm going to repeat the, the same steps for the goggles. So yeah, it's very important to uh, get the empty on the right position in space so it uh, curves nicely around the model. All right, and when that's done, we just uh, apply the uh, Yeah, when that's done, we apply the modifiers and as you can see right now, I'm in the edit mode for the backpack and I'm going to select a edge loop because this edge loop will uh, serve as a outline for the backpack to give it that nice uh, cartoon uh, style. So I've separated the edge loop. I'm just going to uh, scale it a little bit to get uh, 
get it nicely curved around the model. And uh, the next step is to select the select the uh, the um, separated edge loop and uh, make it a a curve. Also going to give it a little bevel to make it uh, thick. So, and when we're done with that, we uh, apply the same technique on the uh, goggles. So select your edge loop, separate the edge loop, and uh, what you want to do with the edge loop, you want to uh, scale it a little bit until it um, matches the the shape of the, uh, the, the base model. All right. And again, when you're done with applying some skill and rotation and everything, and positioning, of course, what you want to do then is you want to uh, bevel the thing out, give it some nice geometry, make it, uh, give it some mesh, some faces to work with, you know. Also, give it a little bit more resolution, and I'm applying the same depth, depth, um, same depth of the uh, other outline part for the backpack, and uh, change the shading to smooth shading. So, yes, that's our uh, base model. Looks very good to me. Um, last thing we need to do is we're going to give it uh, some color, and for this uh, character, we're going to make him red. As you can see, uh, for the outline, we're going to just create a black uh, black outline, ramping up the roughness, and apply the same uh, materials on the other uh, on the backpack and the outline. And for the goggle part, I'm going to make a reflective uh, reflective surface with a little bit of blue tint to it. And yeah, that's all to it. That's how you create a uh, Among Us uh, 3D character in Blender. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. And uh, I hope to see you guys around uh, uh, with the next video. All right, bye-bye everyone. Stay creative and have a good time. Bye.